the principles and laws of sowing and reaping. Imagine you hold the power to shape your future, to control the harvest of your life. But how? You ask. Welcome curious minds to the core of self-improvement. Today, we're going to uncover an ancient secret, a law of the universe so profound, so impactful, it can transform your life from the inside out. Let's begin. Life has a rhythm, a symmetry, a meter, a music. It's the echo of which we often hear in timeless principles and universal laws that guide our lives. One such principle, a profound and fundamental truth in our existence, is the principle of sowing and reaping. This principle, deeply rooted in the soil of wisdom handed down through the ages, is not just a farming practice, but a law of nature, a life philosophy, and a principle of the universe. In the vast field of life, the law of sowing and reaping stands as the unyielding gardener of our destinies. Every seed we plant carries within it the promise of a harvest, a cosmic agreement that echoes through time. From the humblest acts to the grandest gestures, our intentions and actions sow the seeds that eventually sprout into the tapestry of our reality. Join the journey of understanding this universal law, where the seeds we sow today become the harvests we reap tomorrow, shaping the very fabric of our existence. Principle of Sowing and Reaping The principle of sowing and reaping, often referenced in the works of Jim Rohn, is simple. It states that whatever you sow, so shall you reap. It is the fundamental idea that our actions, thoughts, and attitudes have consequences and effects that correspond directly to the energies we've released into the universe. The first principle state, you reap what you sow. The first and foremost principle of sowing and reaping is the law of causality. It means that every action generates a force of energy that returns to us in like kind. If we plant apple seeds, we can't expect watermelon to grow. In life, if we sow kindness and generosity, we'll reap kindness and generosity in return, and the same is true for negativity. What is the second principle? You reap later than you sow. Farmers understand that there's a waiting period between sowing and reaping. Similarly, life often requires patience. Not all actions yield immediate results. Just as a seed needs time to germinate and grow, our actions, thoughts, and feelings need time to manifest into tangible results. Patience is key here. Many people become disheartened when they don't see immediate results from their efforts, but time is an essential ingredient in the process of reaping what we sow. The third principle, you reap more than you sow. Eventually, the efforts pay off. Consistent, positive actions and behaviors will lead to a harvest, whether that means achieving your goals, improving your relationships, or personal growth. The third principle is the law of increase. A single seed can yield hundreds or thousands of seeds in return. Similarly, a small act of kindness can generate a ripple effect of positivity in the world. Conversely, a small negative action can also create waves of negativity. Fourth principle, sowing and reaping is a continuous process. The cycle of sowing and reaping is ongoing. It doesn't stop. The seed sown grows into a plant, which provides seeds for the next sowing. In life, our past actions create our present, and our present actions determine our future. This principle teaches us the importance of consistency and persistence. Success and growth don't come from sporadic efforts, but from consistent and sustained actions. Laws of Sowing and Reaping Understanding the principle of sowing and reaping allows us to better comprehend its governing laws. 1. The Law of Specificity Our results will always be in alignment with our actions. If you want a specific outcome, you must sow a specific seed. 2. The Law of Multiplication As mentioned earlier, what we reap is always more than what we sow. This multiplication effect is true in both positive and negative scenarios. 3. The Law of Habitual Sowing Regularly sowing the same seeds will yield a consistent crop. This law emphasizes the importance of habits in our lives. 
Our habitual thoughts, actions, and feelings lead to consistent outcomes. Conclusion The principle and laws of sowing and reaping are more than just metaphors. They are practical guides for life. They teach us about the profound impact of our actions, the importance of patience, and the immense power of multiplication. As we sow, so shall we reap. This timeless wisdom reminds us that we have more control over our lives than we might think. By consciously choosing what seeds we plant today, we can influence the harvest of our tomorrow.